Okay, we're going to take a look at a nifty old gun here. The High Standard Model HD Military. Uh, somebody asked me to kind of look at this gun. Uh, so this is just something I had to fix. There was an issue with the safety lever. And it was simply just tightening the screw down to solve the problem. But this is a neat gun. The High Standards. Uh, for years were used in uh, you know bullseye shooting and this gun when you pick it up you can feel it, it it's heavy you know it's got the checkered wooden grips uh, I checked the serial numbers and this gun was built I believe in 1947 the individual that owns it is about my age so probably it was his father's and if you look from the holster wearing that uh, you know, the gun was carried for quite some time. It's an extremely well-made gun. You know, it's solid. This frame is solid. I don't think the barrel, if it was threaded on there, uh, it doesn't come off. The one I have, the Sport King, has a removable barrel on it. Uh, and I'm not quite familiar with these guns. I haven't worked with them that much. Uh, taking it down. I'm not going to do a takedown video because it involves pressing this latch and using the takedown lever uh, to get that little rear slide off. There are several videos on YouTube where you can, you know, the guy demonstrates how to do it. And it's awful difficult for me with my uh, hand to do that. This is your slide stop. I'll kind of show you this. I'll get the camera around and uh, show you how it operates but this gun is solid when you pick this thing up compared to polymer guns this is a solid made piece of metal and even after all these years and all this use this gun is pretty sturdy stable oh. and I guess the guy said highly accurate alright let's get it to another camera angle and we'll kind of look at things Okay, this gun does fit in the hand rather well. Okay, and we'll go over the controls. This is the safety lever. The hammer has to be cocked in order for that safety lever. I don't know, I'm getting three positions. One, this one here, which is not quite locked in, and then all the way up where it engages the slide and then the safety the safety works okay um, the safety will not engage if the hammer is down okay it won't so that's something unusual about this this gun okay and on the other side we have the takedown lever, which is used coinciding with this button on the top. What you do is you would pull the slide back. You would depress this button to compress the mainspring, and then use this lever, and the slide would come off. Also, if you look... right here is the slide stop. And it's a pretty well made uh, device and I mean it locks if you can see the little notch there it'll lock right in to the slide when you pull it back so last round fired we'll try to watch it there you go now when you take the mag out that's still locked in there. So if you put another loaded magazine up, I don't think that'll trip down. You would either have to pull it back and then the spring would release that button or you could try to push it down which is quite hard. We'll just pull the slide back. Now, keep an eye on it. There you go. Now the sights, a little unusual, 
I guess they're target sights. Uh, my Sport King has very simple sights on it. And pretty good high blade. And I believe this thing is adjustable. You can drift it. It's adjustable. There's little notches all over the thing here. Um, doesn't look like a screw of any kind, but like I said, I'm not quite familiar with it. I just had to do a little work on it, and it's going back to its owner. So we're not going to shoot this or take it out to the range or anything like that at all. But still, iconic gun, very interesting gun. Um, the high standards, uh, military models, I guess. There, there's several variations. And actually, a gun like this, in this condition, easily can bring 400, if not more. Okay, even with the wear and that. Something that's uh, like mint with uh, good bluing and everything and in nice condition can bring upwards of $700. So they're desirable guns and they're interesting. And I just thought you fellows would like to take a quick look at one. All right. Thank you and stay tuned.